If you can do that to her body, imagine what you could do to a pair of titties. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, then thank you for stopping by. If you've been before, then thank you for coming back. So today we are going to be jumping straight into Harry Potter Part 3, The Prisoner of Azkaban. Now I don't know anything about this one of course, but I do know that Hagrid in Chamber of Secrets got sent to the prison of Azkaban where I'm guessing he met somebody there who we're going to find out more about in this film. Obviously, at the end of Chamber of Secrets, we uh, witnessed Harry destroy Voldemort again. He did put in a lot more effort this time, so fair play to him there. Of course, Ron is still the real hero of the whole show. Hermione didn't really have a lot to do at the end of Chamber of Secrets, but I'm guessing she's going to be back in full swing for this one. So towards the end of Chamber of Secrets, we did, of course, find out that Voldemort was a young wizard called Tom Riddle, who was the heir to Slytherin, I believe. And obviously got a little bit drunk with power, turned to the dark side, and he's still trying to come back. Now again, as there's about another seven or eight films, I'm guessing he's going to keep trying, and every time Harry's going to defeat him. So it'll be interesting to see if Harry defeats him every single film, or if anybody else gets a chance to have a pop at him as well. Particularly my boy Ron. Now I'm pretty sure that Gary Oldman is in this film as a prisoner, so I'm guessing it's all about him, because you wouldn't waste talent like that on a minor role. So... Hoping that Gary Oldman is going to be the prisoner of Azkaban. We were also introduced to Dobby the house elf, who of course looks like a piece of ham on legs. Um, not a big fan of his. And of course, Moaning Myrtle, who really lives up to her name and her voice just goes straight through me. Let me know down in the comments, guys, who your favourite character is up until this point. Obviously, no spoilers for future episodes. With that said, I will be doing the Sorting Hat website, uh, so obviously subscribe to the channel for that. I don't have a Patreon, but if you guys do want to support the channel, feel free to hit the Super Thanks button down below, and maybe I'll give you a shout-out in the next video. So without any further ado, let's jump straight in. Oh, wow, it's looking darker already. I like it. We'll be back at the Dursleys. I wonder if he fixed his window from last time. Hey, I thought you weren't supposed to do magic in the real world. I mean, I assume he's doing magic. Maxima. Erecto Maximus. Maxima. <laughs> Maxima. Why is he waking up from light? And why didn't Harry Potter just turn the light on? I need you to sign this form. What is it? Nothing. Then why do you need him to sign it? Later, perhaps. <laughs> I love that picture. What are you smirking at? You. Where is it just send the boy then? If they really don't care about Harry and magic and all that stuff, why don't they just exploit him and get him to do magic to clean up the kitchen, do all the housework, things like that? Bad blood will out. What is it the boy's father did for Junior? Nothing. Okay, Harry's dad was the wizard, right? My dad wasn't a drunk. <laughs> oh, all right, Carrie. It's Carrie. I think it's time you went to bed. Bedtime, go to bed. Whoa, look how fat that guy is. It's nothing to do with He's basically round. <laughs> if there's something wrong with the bitch, then there's something wrong with the pup. Oh, he just called his mum a bitch. Come on, Potter. Let me tell you. Do full carry, burn the house down. Or turn her finger into a turnip. Oh, her face as well. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like a fat Alan Partridge. <laughs> If you can do that to her body, imagine what you could do to a pair of titties. Like, where's she gonna go? Is she flying because of magic or because she's full of air? Because she might end up in space. I mean, he's basically murdered her, I guess. Harry's a half-blood. I think his dad was the wizard and his mum wasn't. Is that right? Or the other way around? He deserves what she got. You're not allowed to do magic outside school. Exactly. He doesn't care, though. You've nowhere to go. Anywhere's better than here. Oh, it reminds me of early mornings. Is that her there? <laughs> it seems ominous. What are those things called? Death Eaters. There's Death Eaters and something else that are like black ghosts. If that was a real English park, there'd be kids in there drinking cider. Or hard cider, if you're American. Oh, hello. Who are you? That's a rough looking dog. 
Welcome to the night bus. What are you doing down there? Yeah, get on the bus, Potter. <laughs> so what's that guy's deal? Is he magic as well? He drives a magic bus, but he can't magic lift luggage. Take her away, Ian. Yeah, take it away, Ian. What? It's going to be a bumpy ride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a bumpy ride. That looks weird. They used to do that as tribes, I guess, South America. Kill people and then shrink their heads down. Get her. Ten points to Gryffindor. Oh, come on. You're a ghost bus. Who is that? That's Gary Oldman. That is serious Black. That is. He's a murderer. A murderer? Oh, okay. How did he escape? Well, that's the question, isn't it? No, the question is who did he murder? Was a big supporter. You know who. Oh, okay. Him I've heard of. Yeah, you only defeated him twice. Was that Ian Brown, the musician? Wait, so who's allowed to do magic outside of Hogwarts? Like all the adults? Earlier this evening, your uncle's sister was located. She will have no recollection of the incident. Peace out. Pea soup. Who even eats pea soup? Oh. I broke the law. Underage wizards aren't allowed to use magic at home. Aha. We have a killer on the loose. Serious black. Serious black, you mean? What's he got to do with me? So serious is um I think serious A and serious B are stars in a binary star system, so they, they orbit each other. And it's known as the dog star. Which I guess would mean this name would be Black Dog or Black Star Dog. Harry, whilst you're here, it would be best if you didn't uh, wander. Yeah, don't tell him not to wander. That's all he does. Goes places he's not supposed to. The Monster Book of Monsters. Yeah, just open it. Why not? Sounds like a good plan. It's literally got teeth. What are you doing? <laughs> he clearly didn't learn from uh, Chamber of Secrets when he was messing around with that hand in that museum. <laughs> it's a cat, Ronald. Looks more like a pig with hair, if you ask me. That's rich, coming from the owner of that smelly old shoe brush. Yeah, careful, Ron. Cats are cool. Look at him! Oh, he needs a name. Mr. Fluffers. You know the Egyptians used to worship cats? Yeah, along with the dung beetles. Ha, <laughs> he's got a point. Harry Potter, Mr. Weasley. Harry Potter. Harry, wonder if I might have a word. See, look, Sirius is on the wall there. He's just kind of screaming, though. It looks more like he's trying to get out. Oh, that second symbol is a runic symbol for protection. Discourage me from divulging what I'm about to reveal. The one that's like a Y. But I think that you need to know the facts. You are in danger. Oh, he's always in danger. Why don't you just lock him away somewhere? Black lost everything. But to this day, he still remains a faithful servant. You are the only thing that stands in the way of you know who. He's escaped to find and kill Potter. Let me know down in the comments if you would kill Harry Potter or if you'd let him live. Why would I go looking for someone who wants to kill me? Because you're Harry Potter and you're a moron who always does things you're not supposed to. Who do you think that is? Professor R.J. Lupin. Who is? That guy in the corner. I think he's really asleep. Seems to be. Why? Lupin is, uh, rabbits or werewolves? What are werewolves called? Sirius Black has escaped from Azkaban to come after you. I mean, everyone's looking for him. Sure. Except no one's ever broken out of Azkaban. Except, I mean, you're sitting next to a guy with a cloak over his face. There's nothing suspicious about that at all. <laughs> Maybe we've broken down. His voice sounds a lot deeper now. There's something moving out there. Oh, a giant spider would be pretty cool. Just like creeping up around the bridge. Someone's coming for It's Storm from X-Men. Yeah, that guy is, like, not suspicious at all, is he? <laughs> oh, there, is that one of them? Is it a Death Eater? It's got the same hands as the woman in the chip shop when we were at college. That looks cool. Looks like the new Predator. That guy's gonna wake up and save them. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, suck his face off. 
Oh, that's that guy. Yeah, him. That guy was in the previous films, right? I remember him being in the other films. Oh, have you fixed his glasses again, Hermione? Fix his eyes. It'll help. It's all right. It's chocolate. Here, Harry. Have something for free. What was that thing? It was a Dementor. One of the guards. A Dementor. He was searching the train for uh. Sirius Black. If you'll excuse me, I need to have a little word with the driver. What? Now ask him why he stopped the train. Eat. You'll feel better. I know I rag on Harry Potter a lot. He's not my favourite. But he's not as bad as I make out. And did either of you two pass out? No, because Ron's hard as nuts. I like it. Replacement bus service. <laughs> That's classic British rail. Oh, they got frogs or toads. Welcome to another year. They sing really well, considering their voices are a little croaky. I'm pleased to welcome Professor R.J. Lupin of Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher. Okay, Defense Against the Dark Arts used to be Lockhart. And Lockhart went insane thanks to the post credit scene you, uh, you guys pointed out to me. Is it true you fainted? Boy, how did he Professor find out? Kevin. How did he find out? The only people that knew were Hermione, Ron and Lupin. Hogwarts will, until further notice, be closed again. Play host to the oh, no. okay. of Azkaban. What? Until such a time as Sirius Black is captured. Oh, so Dementors aren't bad. Dementors will be stationed at every entrance to the ground. They're like, um, they're like bounty hunters. Or US Marshals or something. Dementors are vicious creatures. You give them no reason to harm you. They wanted to harm Harry just from looking at him. <laughs> Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. If one only remembers to turn Put it back on. Light. <laughs> That's Dawn French. If you get the chance, you should watch The Vicar of Dibley. He's really good in that. She's actually married to Lenny Henry, who's in um, Rings of Power. Wrong count. Oh, yeah. I knew it'd be a lion. Oh, wow, there's loads of them. He just died. That's the Wampin' Willow from Chamber of Secrets. Is that another one, then? There's more than one. And Professor Trelawney... There's like so many famous people just keep coming up in these films. Reading tea leaves. What do you see? Let's broaden your minds. But Blow it up, Seamus. What a load of rubbish. Where did you come from? <laughs> Me? Been here all this time. You yeah, no, she wasn't though, was she? <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure of that. Give me the cup. Neville doesn't look like a Hufflepuff in this one. Don't want to see you. Harry's got a sort of a... So, uh, you're going to suffer. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to be... <laughs> Grim. What's the Grim? Taking form of a giant spectral dog to omen of death. Oh yeah, I can see it. That's the dog from when he got the bus, I guess. Ancient rooms. It's, it's so clever how they do CGI and stuff. Ancient rooms on the same time as divination. You have to be in two classes at once. I got a real treat for you today. Sounds like the Predator. Wait until my father hears that Dumbledore's got this oaf teaching class. Shut up, Malfoy. Oh, here we go. Demental, demental! <laughs> <laughs> da -da -da. Say hello to Buckbeak. Exactly what is that? A griffin? That run is a hippogriff. Oh, hippogriff. Who'd like to come and say hello? Well done, Harry. Well done. <laughs> I don't know about in the States. Oh, you didn't wear uniforms at school in the States, do you? But over in the UK, that was a big craze in like the early 2000s of kids just going around with really short ties. You can go and touch him. Nice and low. Back off, Harry. Back off. Get him. Peck his head off. Well done, Harry. I think you can go and pat him now. You'd want to ride it though, really, wouldn't you? Oh, Ron, you're in. <laughs> hey, have they been up to something already? I think he may let you ride him now. What? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> it's normally Neville that ends up hanging off something in the sky. So I'm guessing this uh, hippogriff is going to come back at the end and save him or something. What about the rest of the class? Surely they get to have a go as well. I'm the king of the world!
Yeah, well done, Potter. You've done it again. Yes, you're not dangerous at all, are you? you... <laughs> He's just going to take him around the corner and break his neck. <laughs> At least Hagrid didn't get fired. Serious Black. Where? Duff Town. <laughs> you don't think he comes to Hogwarts, do you? It's like if he wants to kill Harry Potter, then he's going to go straight to the place where Potter's going to be. Venture a guess as to what is it. That was a really cool shot. That's no one knows. Where'd she go? Well, that's the shapeshifters. <laughs> They take the shape of whatever a particular person fears the most. A very simple charm exists to repel a boggart. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh, never. What frightens you most of all? Everything. Sorry? Professor Snape. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> and I believe you live with your grandmother. Grandmother's <laughs> This is going to be funny. Ridiculous. I thought he was going to come out in, like, red women's lingerie. <laughs> Ron. Ron. Oh, what does Ron hate? Spiders. The Black Widow as well, it looks like. Ridiculous. <laughs> next. Step up, step up. He's going to see a Dementor, and that clown looks pretty freaky already. Look at that clown. Oh, yeah. Okay, Loop. Like, his name's Lupin. It's a werewolf. That's the thing he fears the most is a full moon. No permission form signed. No visiting the village. That's the rule, Potter. Oh. Yeah, no, she'll let you go. All those with permission follow me. Those... Where's Scragglecat? Only a parent or a guardian can sign. I don't believe for a second that it's going to stop Harry Potter doing something. That's my final word. See you later. Oh, unless he's going to be left in the school on his own. And then Sirius can come and get him. And in Harry's defence, it's not his fault that he doesn't have a parent or guardian anymore. Before I fainted, I heard something. You heard Ron squeezing out a fart. It's one of Dementors forces to relive our very worst memories. Our pain becomes their power. By your eyes, they're your mother, Lily's. Not only was she a singularly gifted witch... Okay, his mum was the magic one and his dad wasn't, right? His dad was a muggle and that makes him a half-blood, I think. Honey Cheek Sweet Shop is brilliant. Excuse me, I'm head boy. <laughs> that lady, she's gone. Oh wow. It's a terrible scene. It's not oh god, crying baby. Do you really need that in those stairs? Yeah, scraggle cat. That lady's there. Where? I'm head boy! Yeah, <laughs> I'm head boy. Shut up, Percy. Is he a serious black? Why would he attack her unless she knew something? Well, he escaped Azkaban, so I'm pretty sure getting into a school wouldn't be too difficult. What about Potter? Should he be warned? Perhaps, but for now, let him sleep. Yeah, for now, just talk about it right next to him. <laughs> I've got one of those star light things that does that in my room. But it's nowhere near as cool as that. Turn to page 394. Excuse me, sir. What is it, Potter? Suffice it to say that your professor finds himself incapable of teaching... Because he's a werewolf. Because when they shut the door and locked down the whole school, there was a full moon. Werewolves? Yeah. We've just begun learning about red caps and hinky... Oh, what's a hinky punk? That sounds awesome. Did you see her come in? An animagus is a wizard who elects to turn into an animal. A werewolf has no choice. He kills his best friend. The werewolf only responds to the call of its own kind. Oh! <laughs> Thank you. That's not funny, Malfoy. Do you take pride in being an insufferable know it? <laughs> <laughs> he has. Well done, Ron. The term werewolf is a contraction of the Anglo Saxon word were. Means man and oh, yeah. Because W E R E, were. Like, man and woman was ver and vermin. Yeah, a bit of Quidditch. Quidditch in the rain. How are you supposed to see that little snitch thing in, like, a thunderstorm? 
Now you're gonna have to save him, Potter. You're supposed to be the good guy. Hey, that's cool. Oh, it's a Dementor. Whose umbrella was that? I don't get why they're after Potter. Oh, or are they trying to suck out the Voldemort out of him? Because they said before that Voldemort gave Potter some of his magic when he attacked him as a kid. Right, notice how everybody's so concerned because Potter's falling out the sky. But when that kid, like, froze and fell off, nobody cared. The Dementors aren't supposed to come inside the grounds. Oh, that explains why they were all waiting outside then. When you fell, blew into the Whomping Willow and... Well... See, I can see the Whomping Willow wanting to smash Potter's head in. Because that's twice he's, like, crashed into it. Why do the Dementors affect me so? The Dementors feed on every good feeling, every happy memory. The Dementors affect you most of all because there are true horrors in your past. I need to know how to fight them. Why do you want to fight the Dementors? They're there to do a job. They're nothing to do with you, Potter. Right after the holiday. Yeah, Christmas. Come on now. Are they all going home for Christmas and Potter's left there on his own. Why do they keep leaving him on his own all the time when Dementors are trying to kill him? Sirius Black's trying to kill him. Voldemort's trying to kill him. Let me go. I'm trying to get to Hogsmeade. What are you doing? Shh. Marauder's map. This is Hogwarts. Oh, they're people. So you mean this map shows everyone? Everyone? everyone. That serious black could have used that to get around and get into the school. It's basically a mini map in a game. Harry, don't forget when you're done, just to give it a tap and say mischief managed. Did they say Honeywell? That's the woman who makes the sweets, right? You clumsy buffoon, Potter. Do you want to move a bit closer? Oh, they end like a date. To the shrieking shack. You do shopping for your new dream home? Shut your mouth, Malfoy. Hey, shut up, Malfoy. Ooh, not very friendly. I hope you don't mean yourself. How dare you talk to me? <laughs> How Filthy dare you? Mudblood. You mudblood. Who is that? Oh, fuck off. Is it Potter in his invisibility cloak? Oh! Stand there, do something. What? Make a shield. A magic shield. <laughs> Potter's got the prime opportunity now to just like throw them into that barbed wire and stuff. Harry! <laughs> we have a killer on the loose. And what would bring him here? Harry Potter? Harry! Oh, he's such a dumbass. It winds me up when he's got his invisibility cloak. He's either carrying a lantern or he's leaving footprints in snow. Now, years ago, when Harry Potter's parents they went into hiding, few knew where they were. One who did was Sirius Black. And he told you know who. Oh. Also killed one of their friends, Peter Pettigrew. Oh, that's another name we got to remember. Peter Pettigrew tried to warn the Potter. Black was vicious. That all was left to finger. Sirius Black may not have put his hands to the Potters, but he's the reason they're dead. Sirius Black was Harry Potter's godfather. What? <laughs> How come the snow's not falling on him and giving his position away? See, the snow's falling on him now. He was that friend! I'm gonna kill him! Oh, all right, Tom Riddle the second. He always wants to kill people. Now the spell I'm going to try to teach you is called the Patronus Charm. Oh, I've heard of a Patronus. I don't know what it is. I love these candlestick holders. It works something like a shield with a Dementor feeding on it rather than him. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Boosh! <laughs> then speak Expecto Patronum. Expensive Petroleum? Yeah! <laughs> The chocolate again. That was a boggart, Harry. Which memory did you choose? First time I rode a broom. Really? You fool, Potter. His hair is so messy in this film. You feel ready? Just do it. Oh, sorry, hard. You know, you didn't just fucking faint after seeing a little ghosty thing. 
Expecto Patronum! It's like when you get British football hooligans in uh, Europe. They just shout things louder in English to the foreign people. <laughs> I thought the Patronus thing was an animal. Well done. Here, eat this. It helps. What's in the chocolate? He's feeding him so much chocolate. It's interesting that Lupin would be in the astronomy tower as well. I guess because he's checking the moon. Ronald has lost his rat. There he is, Mr. Fluffers. Buckbeak's been sentenced to death. Oh no. He loves his animals and they always get taken away from him. Wait, he isn't he's supposed to be dead? Put that light out. Sorry. Sorry, and he carries on. Maybe he's got the invisibility cloak on. Mr. Managed. Knox. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he saw you. Potter. Potter. What are you doing wandering the I like how the light's pulsing. That's pretty cool. Turn out your pockets. Do as you're told, Potter. Reveal your secrets. Oh. Offer their compliments to Professor Snape. Oh, it's like a trick. And request that he keep his abnormally large nose out of other people's business. <laughs> well, 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 Lupin. You all right? What's wrong with his face? He's got lines through his face. Now, I haven't the faintest idea, Harry, how this map came to be in your possession. Did it never occur to you that this, in the hands of Sirius Black, is a map to you? Exactly. Professor, I don't think that map always works. Peter Pettigrew. That's not possible. Oh, the serious black. He will return tonight. Innocent blood shall be spilt. What? Can't believe they're going to kill Buckby. Ah, oh, come to see the show. <laughs> oh, oh, no. I like Malfoy now. I think I want you seeing something like that. Keep a closer eye on your pets, Ron. Right. Blimey, what was that? Ow. <laughs> Someone sees you outside the castle this time of night, you'll be in trouble. Big trouble for It's not even night time. But who was throwing the stones? Those are some big ass pumpkins. I thought I just saw What? I didn't see anything. They can let it go now. And then Hagrid wouldn't get the blame because he's with Dumbledore. Yoink! I guess that'll do it. <laughs> Hermione's straight on Ron. Harry coming in as a third wheel. There's definitely something going on there. Bit me. Ron, it's My boy Ron's gonna get the girl. Oh, don't go over there. It'll smash you up. Did you realise what tree this is? Harry, I'm hiding, Ron! Ah, oh, the dog's back. <coughs> Wait, that's a black dog. Maybe that's Sirius Black. That makes sense. Is he a werewolf as well then? <laughs> it's a lot like the tree from Poltergeist, the original Poltergeist film. <laughs> Man, that would hurt in reality. Where do you suppose this goes? I have a hunch. Let's hope I'm do you? Where? We're in the Shrieking Shack. Oh, haunted place. Ah, wrong. It's a trap. He's a dog. He's an Animagus. An Animagus. It's a wizard that can choose to be a were- He is a werewolf. Yeah, I was right. Only one would die tonight. Then it'll be you. Ah. Yeah, like you're going to beat him, Potter. <laughs> Oh, wait. Finally, the flesh reflects the madness. Well, you'd know all about the madness within, wouldn't you, Remus? Remus. That's his first name. Remus and Romulus. They were two dogs that brought up a boy in the wild. Just kill him. No! Wait, are they brothers? He's a werewolf. That's why he's been missing classes. 
How long have you known? Says Professor Snape set the essay. Ah, Snape Blake was helping them out and giving them clues. Remus, come on, let's kill him. Wait, I did my waiting. Twelve years of it. Gary Oldman is so good. Wait, does he want to kill Harry as well then? Kill him. But wait one more minute. Harry has the right to know why. You betrayed my parents. No, Harry, it wasn't him. Who was it then? Peter Pettigrew. Peter Pettigrew. Come on, come on, Peter. Come out, Peter. Come on, come oh, Snape's a bit. Spoilers. Oh, there's a lot of Expelliarmus in going on. I told Dumbledore you were helping an old friend into the castle, and now... Ah, that's how he got in. ...put your keen and penetrating mind to the task, and as usual, come to the wrong conclusion. Why don't you run along and play with your chemistry set? <laughs> but why deny the Dementors? Expelliarmus! Oh, for fuck's sake, Potter. You attacked teacher! Yeah, he wants to know why. I thought he was our friend. Pettigrew's dead. He's lying then. The never lies. Pettigrew's alive. And Wait. he's right there. You're right. This cabs has been in my family for 12 years. What? Show me. Why would you turn into a rat, though? Scabber. I suppose nobody would Take expect a rat. <laughs> okay. What? But Ron keeps scabbers with him all the time. He would have seen Ron's private time. <laughs> Wait, why is he got a suit on? Looks so much like your father. You sold James and Lily to Voldemort, didn't you? I want to die rather than betray my friends. So he betrayed Potter's parents. Together, no. But we'll take you to the castle. He's literally a rat. I said we take you to the castle. Kick him in the head. After that, the Dementors can have you. What happens when you get demented by the Dementors? Do, do you die, or you go to like some kind of hell or something? Oh, it's night time and it looks very light. James and Lily made me your godfather. Come and live with you. Mate, you've just met. Calm down. Harry! The moon. Oh, shit. We were this hot here. Oh, shit. Who's going to die? Oh, no. Expel all us. You're too late. But if Peter Pettigrew supported Voldemort, and he's been with Ron the whole time, so like, why didn't he try to kill Potter? Yeah. Professor Lupin. Nah, it's not gonna fall for it. Come on, Ron, pull yourself together. I was going to say, how would you stop him? But I guess the other guy turned into a dog. They're going to have a dog fight. All we need is Tom Cruise to come through. Come back here, Potter. Yeah, come back here, Potter. God damn it. Oh, no. They're not going to kill him off. They just introduced him. What the hell's that? Oh, they said that werewolves only know their own language or some shit. Oh, he's not serious black anymore. He's serious fucked. No. Serious! Potter runs over, he's like, you can't be serious. Oh, the Dementors are coming. He'll have to do the Patronus shield. Oh, no, they're taking him. But he was innocent, so why are they taking him? Patronum! Or do they just not know? Is Patronum and Patronus two different things then? Go on, Potter, fall over again. It wouldn't be a Harry Potter film if he didn't fall over at the end. Oh, they've taken him. There, what's that over there? That's a Patronus, right? Oh, is it his Patronus? What? Nope. If he faints again, ah, oh, I would literally do a shit in his hand. So he woke up and he wondered what it was, fainting all the time. I saw my dad. I saw him across the lake. What? Your dad's a deer? 
going to suck out his soul. They've got the wrong man. It's true, sir. It's Scabbers who did it. He's my rat, sir. Turns out he's a man watching me crack one off when I was a child. Bit weird. Please believe us. I do, Miss Granger. However honest and true, his meaning. <laughs> <laughs> Meddled with, dangerous. He must not be seen. Three turns should do it, I think. What? Is he telling them to build a time machine? Sorry, Ron, but seeing as you can't walk. Oh no, so Ron's not in this one at the end. Ah. Oh, they can rewind time. What just happened? What do you think happened, Potter? He's not very bright, is he? Where were we at 7.30? No, going to Hagrid's. Wait, they were going to Hagrid's. Was it them throwing the stones? Wait, seven thirty in the morning. Hermione. Damn. Hermione. It sucks getting up that early. Hermione, will you please tell me what it is we're doing? This is a time turner, Harry. McGonagall gave it to me first term. This is how I've been getting to my lessons. Why? Why would a teacher give a child something so irresponsible? So An invisibility cloak, and now a thing where you can change time. <laughs> Good pun. But we're still alive. Yeah, because he's not been killed yet. Fudge is coming. Fudge is the head of the Ministry of Magic, right? I think he was the guy that turned up in Chamber of Secrets. Are you mad? Yeah, it was them all the time. She's got a wand in her pocket. You'd imagine they'd have some special, like wonder pocket like a long thin pocket to put them in but she thought she saw herself is that really what my hand looks like from the back <laughs> I I just saw... now they can let that uh buck beat thing get away and hagrid's got an alibi and they'll have an alibi because they're technically somewhere else Wait, does he know? Does Dumbledore know? And he, that's why he's like stopping them from looking at them. And that means he knew in the past what he was going to do in the future. You've been with us all the time. I'm guessing that crow wasn't supposed to land on his head when they were filming. Now what? We stay serious. Look, it's looping. Ah, that's how you stop a Wampum Willow. Now we wait. Why wait when you can, like, turn the necklace and go forward? Down by the lake when I was with Sirius, I did see someone. With a Patronus, only a really powerful wizard could have conjured it. It was my dad who conjured the Patronus. So his mum and dad were wizards. Ah, oh, somebody's got to explain this to me again. I thought it was a half-blood, because... He had half and half. You see, Sirius, when we free him, I'll never have to go back to the Dursleys. Well, how are you going to save him? Because the guy's already turned into a werewolf. Let's go. Oh! They did the screamy thing. Run. But Sirius is already injured at this point. And if they end up by the lake, then that Patronus might have been something else and not his dad. <laughs> That's the classic, he's behind you. See, now you've got a time paradox. Professor Lupin's having a really tough night. <laughs> Okay, unless they save Sirius from the Dementors and then he heals and gets better from his injuries. That makes sense. Don't worry. My dad will come. He'll come to the Patronus. No, no, it's you. Because you're there now, saving yourself. Any minute now. Come on, Potter, figure it out. You'll see. That's right where you are, you moron. No one's coming. Hermione's got to get it, surely. Come on, tell him. We're dying, both of you. Expecto Patronum! 
Yeah. But I don't know why it looks like a deer, though. And that's why he thought he saw his dad, because people keep saying he looks like his dad. <laughs> there he goes, passing out again. I'm not being stupid, am I? It was a deer. It was a glowing deer before. I saw myself conjuring the Patronus before. Does that make sense? No! <laughs> She doesn't like flying, so she got on the front. <laughs> I'll be forever grateful for this. I expect you're tired of hearing. But you look just like your dad. So like your father. Yep. Yeah. The ones that love us never really leave us. And you can always find them. In here. Yeah. In here. <laughs> so cliche. But Lupin's still up there, right? Because it's a full moon. But he's still up there somewhere. We have to go. We did it. Did what? <laughs> nice. How did you get there? Oh, they teleport. So there's only one instance of them. Okay. <laughs> he got it again. <laughs> Hello, uh, Harry. Saw you coming. He won't remember. What's in the box? That looks suspicious. What's in the box? I resign. Why would you resign? Why? It seems that somebody of my condition. They're gonna have no dark arts teachers left before long. Start arriving and. Might as well just get Voldemort in to teach. Edgar escaped. You helped uncover the truth. Now I'll say goodbye, Harry. Bye. Have a beautiful day. Wherever did you get it? Can I have a go, Harry? Is there a new broom? Somebody's bought him a new broom. Oh, I, I didn't mean to open it. Harry. A Nimbus 3000. It's a firebolt. It's the fastest broom in the world. Who sent it? This came with it. Oh, serious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so remember to hit the subscribe button if you want to see future Harry Potter reactions. You got the super thanks below if you want to support the channel. And let me know in the comments below what boggarts you would have seen coming out of the case if you were in that class. And let's talk about Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Okay, guys, that was Harry Potter 3, The Prisoner of Azkaban. Um, definitely different from the others. Definitely getting darker, which some of you said in the comments is going to happen, which is awesome. There was definitely a completely different tone of the film. I believe it's a different director this time as well. And it was really nice to see that it wasn't just a rehash of fighting Voldemort and then just a one-on-one -on -one fight at the end with him. So that was really cool. Loads more details coming out now that I'm going to have to try and remember. So again, leave all your comments down below. I'll, I read every one of them. Um, they all help, so thank you so much for that. Every time you explain something, it really does help. I'm not sure what the next film is. Obviously, it's Harry Potter 4. I'm going to guess The Goblet of Fire. It's, I'm pretty sure there's The Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, and then Deathly Hallows 1 and 2, so that would make 8. So guys, I am really enjoying these Harry Potter films. As you might be able to tell, I'm having the most fun with these out of all the videos I've done so far. And of course, I will be doing the video on the, the Sorting Hat, the House, the Patronus, and I think the Wand as well, so look out for that. There are other films coming up on the channel, of course. We're going to mix it up a bit. Coming up to Halloween soon, so hopefully I'm going to get some more Halloween or horror films on, uh, something I haven't seen. Any suggestions, always welcome down below. Like I said before, guys, if you do want to support the channel, I don't have Patreon, but there is the Super Thanks button just down below so you can always hit that if you want to help out and i will of course give you a shout out on the channel but again guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one